What's happening, friends? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Today's video is a step by step tutorial on how to connect your MetaMask wallet to the Emerald Paratime on Oasis Protocol, how to transfer Rose tokens from your Oasis wallet to your MetaMask, and how to transfer those same Rose tokens back from your MetaMask to your Oasis wallet once you are ready to bring them back to an exchange. And the reason this is important is that most exchanges right now are only compatible with the Oasis wallet, not with the Emerald Paratime, meaning that in order to withdraw or deposit to an exchange, you'll need to have the tokens in your Oasis wallet. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the Emerald Paratime, it's just the EVM compatible subchain built on top of Oasis. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to actually connect your MetaMask to Emerald. And the best guide that I found is from the user swap git book here, which I'll post a link to below. Basically what you will do is you will open your MetaMask. You will click on the networks up top. I'm already on Oasis uh, or you might name it Emerald. And then you'll click on add network. This will bring you to a page where you're prompted to input a network name uh, RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and block explorer URL. You can just go ahead and copy these things here. And uh, I will also post the uh, a link to the block explorer uh, as well as all of these things in the video description. So if I were to do this, then I would just go ahead and copy this, put it in here, RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol is rows, and then I put in the block explorer as well. Click on save, and then my MetaMask would be connected to the Emerald Paradigm. Quite straightforward, uh, but, but I'm not going to actually save this now because, because uh, I, already have, I already have this network on my MetaMask. Once you do that, you will need to create an Oasis wallet, uh, and, and uh, you can create it here on wallet.oasisprotocol.org. Uh, however, I would also recommend installing the Oasis Wallet Chrome extension. I'll post a link to that down in the video description as well. And, and uh, some of the functionality that you'll need is only available on the Chrome extension, uh, which you can also install on, on Brave and other browsers. Um, but, but you'll want to install this, and then you will get an Oasis Wallet up here that looks something like this. Uh, so similar to MetaMask or another web wallet that you may have used before. Uh, and uh, and then this is the address that you can actually send Rose tokens to from an exchange. So you can see it starts with Oasis. Click on it and copy it to your clipboard. So uh, transferring uh, Rose tokens from here to your MetaMask is actually pretty easy. You just go to Paratimes, click on to Paratime, and then you uh, select the amount that you want to transfer. And then you'll paste your MetaMask wallet here, and it does a cross-chain transfer straight to your MetaMask. So if I were to send it to mine, I would copy that there. Go here, go to Paratimes, two Paratime. Let's say one, paste, and then next, confirm. And it's actually that simple. So it just takes a few seconds. Unfortunately, sending it back is slightly more complicated uh, and, and it involves exporting your private key from MetaMask. So I'm not gonna be able to show every step in this video because uh, for my own personal security. So this is sending now and, and that'll appear in my MetaMask in a second. In order to send it back, the first thing that you'll need to do is to, to uh, export your private key from MetaMask. So in order to get that, you'll go to these three dots here and you'll click on account details. Transaction from Oasis was just confirmed. So you click here and then you'll click on export private key, which I'm not going to do, but then that will give you your private key that you can copy. Once you have it copied, you go back to your Oasis wallet. You click on this uh, button on the top right, which is sort of like a multicolored circle. And you click on that and then you click on import and you'll click on Ethereum compatible private key. You'll name the account. And then you just paste 
your private key from MetaMask here. Once you do this, it will add your MetaMask to the Oasis wallet. And so you can see I already did this here. So now I have my Oasis account and then I also have my Ethereum compatible account. Now, if I want to send Rose back from MetaMask to the Oasis wallet, I just click on the sphere, see all my accounts, toggle to the MetaMask account. Then I go to Paratimes and before I was sending it to the Paratime, now I'm sending it to Consensus. So I forgot a step. I need to first copy my Oasis wallet. Like I said, this step is actually pretty frustrating, but so you're going to want to copy your Oasis wallet, then switch to your MetaMask, go to Paratimes, select to Consensus. As soon as it loads, you select the amount you want to send. I'll just send one, and then you paste your Oasis wallet here, and it's going to do a cross-chain transfer in the other direction to send it back from your MetaMask directly to your Oasis wallet. Like I said, it's a bit tedious. Uh, however, once you have your MetaMask installed, it's actually, actually quite seamless. Uh, that's all I got today. Let me know if you want any other tutorials, especially on Oasis protocol. And if you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and following me on Twitter. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.